So welcome ladies and gentlemen, Merry Merry Christmas folks, hopefully this is out on Christmas Day, otherwise it's a bad start really to this video, but I'm planning on editing this Christmas Eve and you guys will have something to watch on Christmas Day. So we're wearing the Christmas shirt for the final time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that. It just looks like I had a pair of, uh, Bizarmos. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you before we get into today's video for watching my content. It was a rough year, folks. Uh, not only because of COVID and everything happening with the pandemic, but if you guys are not new to my channel, you know I got hacked, uh, earlier in the year. Uh, January, actually. It was January 4th. And I remember that, and that will be my New Year's resolution to not get hacked next year <laughs> because it won't be good. So it was a rough year for it all, but we are back. We managed to get back the subscribers and the views and everything, but it just took a little bit of time. So I want to thank each and every one of you, first of all, for continuing to support my channel. Uh, and here's to a bigger and better 2021 because 2021, folks, with Pez 2022 coming out, oof. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, hopefully bigger and better things in the future. So today's video, we're taking on Newcastle United, and then a couple of national things that we're not going to worry about, and then Norwich City. So pretty much two easier matches before the next episode when things get crazy, when we face Inter, then Liverpool, and then after that, it's just hard game after hard game. So this is going to be the test, and rotation's going to be the key. And the thing about today's lineup is, I mean, the team's all right. They're looking okay. We are going to start Holgate today. I still want to start the other players that I haven't really been playing that much because I brought in Tar, you know, as a transfer player. But I'm going to start Holgate. And Babo on the right, Dinya on the left. Espina's going to be in goal because Olsen today is down. So is Hamez and so is Saar. Uh, so that means we're going to have to make a few alterations. Alan as well, also down. I don't know what's wrong with Alan. A little bit disappointing. Uh, as we've got some cats meowing away. Uh, so Barrios, Andre Gomez, and David. Then we've got Richarlison on the left, Villa on the right, Villa, Villa, Villa. And then uh, Luigi Jr. up top. So there we go. I'm going to try and get a, a, a face for Luigi. Someone sent me an email. I have seen it, by the way. I just haven't had a chance to implement it. He sent me an image of myself. It's my face with long hair. It's actually quite funny and, you know, a bit Luigi-esque. So I'm going to try and put that in so he's got a real face when we do the, the formation screen, just for a bit of fun. So, there we go. There's a look at Newcastle. They are playing a, a sort of a 4-4-2. Where are they lying in the table? Let's have a quick look. I mean, they're down in 19th place. So, we're taking on 19th place Newcastle and 20th place Norwich. If we do not get maximum points, it, it's going to be disappointing. Uh, so, yeah, super start, 15 minutes, although it's going to be about 17 minutes, the matches. And uh, let's dive into it. So I hope you guys do enjoy it once again. A merry, merry Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy your time with your family and friends if you are able to travel, of course, depending on what's happening. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive into this one. We could give them the red today. I think we're going to go for it, folks. We're going to give them the sexy red. And let's do it. So here we are, St. James's Park. Uh, a bit of a, a gloomy-ish day, but no rain in the sky, which is always nice. And some music in the background for you as well. Fantastic stuff. But yeah, Ospina back in goal. The young lad, only 16 years of age, but as we know, he looks about 37. But that doesn't mean he hasn't got some quality about him. And Luigi Jr. also getting a start today once again. Luigi wants to grow his own son. I mean, it sounds wrong, but it doesn't when we talk about it in football terminology. So... It's perfectly fine. He's got the red hairband with the red shirt today. Will it give him that magic touch? And away we go. The turf looks fantastic. And kickoff is upon us. Newcastle United down in 19th place. It's not been a good start to the season for them at all. Taking on a side who are on a decent run of form, but they lost their last Premier League match. It was disappointing in that regard because they really, with the amount of chances they had, they probably should have scored. And Babu's done brilliantly well. Lays it back, looking for the Italian. Cleared by Newcastle. Good start this by Everton. David towards Gomez. Once again, no Allen today, though. He's, for some reason, looking uh, a little bit worse for wear as the ball's floated in towards the near post. 
Gomez. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's done superbly well. And oh, good effort. So no Mina at the back, no Keen. And it's going to be Tar. Oh, that's uh, a good ball, actually. Somehow it's uh, gone all the way across. And Ospina. Interesting save there. I don't think it was heading, uh, well, goal bound. It didn't look like it was heading towards the net. It looks like it was heading wide, but Ospina decided to, to make the save. And Newcastle get a corner, a free corner because of Ospina. I mean, those celebrations of the goalies look a little bit ridiculous. Konami, let's uh, maybe tweak those for the next game. Oh, what's happened there? I don't know what has happened there with the guys at the back nodding off entirely. And an early let off for Everton. Here's uh, Newcastle now with a chance. Long staff. The ball over the top should be comfortable for Ospina. And there he is. Wellington has been dispossessed there. A little bit too easy. Now Richarlison. Had a really good game against Inter Milan, Richarlison, that's for sure. And I want to see the same again from him today. But we are 15 minutes in and uh, not too many chances as of yet. Hard to break through. Almiron, oh he's done brilliantly well, lays it across and that's a disappointing finish there. Said Maximin really should have done better. Yes, it was a tough volley with it sort of bouncing in front of him, but Almiron did superbly well. And yeah, that's, that's a bit poor, a bit poor, son. And here is Gomez. I don't know who we're finding there. It's a bit disappointing right now. We're, we're forcing the play instead of just taking our time and trying to create something. That's a good ball, though. All right, and Babu, what have you got? Feeds it inside. Referee has brought back the foul, but once again, the referees and their advantage. If it's the advantage, ref, there's no real benefit to bringing this foul back. You know, we had the ball. Play on. So uh, Everton are going to take the short one. And you might as well take the short one if no one's going to make the challenge. Andre Gomez says, I'm going to smash this. And they've got themselves a lovely free corner here. Newcastle more concerned about the players in the box. And, yeah, forcing a good save by the goalie. Dubravka. Clears it away. But he always gets it down. And it's taken him half an hour to do so. David. Right, and Babu. This is where he'll use his speed to uh, his full advantage now. And he has got the likes of Luigi near post. Bang! Absolutely clinical by the Italian. It's an interesting celebration. I absolutely love that celebration. Where's that come from? Don't know. Grind the boots. Bang. Almost like uh, Gabriel Battistuta. Classic. Luigi is impressed with Luigi. His father is proud. And this is what Mbabu needs to do. Give him the space to run up the line. Great ball in. Uh, and what a volley. What a volley different class so it looks like uh, is this snow we have coming down right now on Christmas Day absolutely fantastic that looks like a bit of a blizzard so unbelievable that the game knows it's Christmas Day and the snow is falling down here it doesn't look like rain or saying that that's a shocking ball by Richarlison sent maximum here he goes chance to beat Vila but couldn't beat anyone Badios starts to hold gate we've got, we got to put a little bit more power on the passes now suddenly the ball is just being held up in the turf a, a little bit. Don't like that. David, here goes the trickery. Always enjoy some good feet by Mr. David. Dinya. Gomez. Let's feed that one across. It's a sloppy pass. Missed by Balios. Chance now for Newcastle to bring this forward. I don't really want to go to Amaron, so we're going to let Andre Gomez. But now we're going to have to commit. And it really was... I don't, um, I don't like Ospina beating goal right now because obviously he doesn't have the hands of Olsen. Not great defending there. Get back in away, back in away. Newcastle looking more likely to score. We carry on playing like this. Richarlison. Luigi. Richarlison again. This is where you just hold him up. Then you find Dinya, who delivers it near post. And once again, we'll just keep feeding him in near post if Newcastle can't contain it. We'll keep pushing for a second. And here is Richie. And I will say, if we ever crank this up to legend, depending on how this season go, I would never crank it up to legend this season. We would obviously wait till to see for next season. 
I don't know, that, that's going to be a mission. Obviously, I keep the goalies at a respectable level, but the AI will be quite tough to beat as they have just cleared that one off to absolutely no one there. Now, here's a chance for Everton. Barrios swings it into uh, Richarlison. Looks to hold off his man, and he does well. Dinya. Barrios again. Now, what have we got on, boys? Feed it across, David. Vila. It's much better here. This is what caused problems in the first goal, but... Ooh, Mbabu should have got there, mate. Should have got there. Now, Jolington with some space here. Nice give and go. Now, Tar's going to have to come across. How's the challenge? Well, he missed the ball. Referee says, let's play on. Fed out wide. Chance, and well done, Denya. Quality defending there to win that one and Denya has put a tantalising ball through the middle the goalie's come out good bit of uh, goalkeeping there sometimes you just you need to be alert you need to be ready David has got time here no didn't I don't know why I don't know why why do it it's pointless that move never ever works yeah I still have the the, the need to do it for some reason all right Denya back inside it's another loose pass I do miss Allen when he's not in there I will say it's been a few matches since we've had him hoping for the next match he'll be alive and kicking because he does make a big difference Dinya I'll give it to Richarlison oh, come on Richarlison take him on there you go past the first challenge past the second still going oh unlucky Richie all right, watch the run through the middle here, boys. Jolington is up against Holgate. And Tar is back quickly. Well done. Good defending. Now on Babu. Vila. Ball over the top. That's fine. We'll uh, cause some... Ooh, we could have caused some problems, and they have given it away. Vila. Back to David. Oh, come on, David. Don't... Oh, I, do, I wasn't going to shoot that. For some reason, Super Council wasn't happening. Newcastle still look a threat coming forward. Ref, no foul. And the referee blows for full time. And the Italian gets another goal. He's had two in three matches now. Need to keep it going, but half time. Everton lead 1 0. So a change has happened for Newcastle. Wilson's come on for Almiron. That's a bit of an interesting change there. I thought Almiron was one of Newcastle's better players in the first half, but clearly the manager. Stevie Brucey has decided that he wasn't good enough or well, maybe it's just a change of emphasis by the Magpies but I'm going to keep Barrios back a little bit now because I don't want to see him oh here's a chance Luigi good feet Luigi lovely play still going nicely worked there Denya up the line towards Richarlison the Brazilian out can deliver decides against it Denya will deliver it it's a big massive deflection and Dupravka Manages to uh, pluck it out of the air and then launches uh, a terrible throw because he's given it straight back towards Richarlison who's got a chance here to just stretch the legs and uh, oh, I'm trying to, I tried the bender folks, I tried the little bender it's still a difficult way to score a goal but if you can get it right obviously you can cause some problems because the goalie is uh, well it's just one of those isn't it when you bend the ball when you curl it you're curling it away from the goalie it's harder on manual, but there might be better chance of, of scoring. Well, Richarlison get there, he will. And Richarlison's on blue today, so we really have to use what we can with him. Gomez flicks it up the line. Luigi, David, lovely football this. Sebastian Villa, it's taking too long, mate. And Babu. Gomez feeling sluggish there with the, uh, with the touch. And the conditions haven't helped. Now Jolington. Wilson. Space through the middle here for Longstaff. Oh, it's a lovely splitting pass. Don't let him hit it. Well done, Ospina. No. Ah, oh, Ospina, you did enough, but just need to be parried further away. And Callum Wilson, who's... You know, he's been an impressive signing for Newcastle ever since his move from Bournemouth and, and that's just a, a forward taking a gamble here he is holding it up this is a great pass poor marking decent save there but they got the follow up sent maximum lays it across but you know Newcastle aren't playing bad or saying that 
Chance here for Luigi. Wow, that's a fantastic challenge. Fantastic challenge. Right as they're about to, to possibly lay this one through. Newcastle was still probing. Now Luigi, lovely pass. Come on, David, do the business. David is in. Oh, what a challenge that is. Just about to lob the goalie there, folks. As Tar has run into his man, it's a, a foot race. Jolington and Dinya. Well done, Dinya. Oh, so unlucky there. So two changes. We are going to bring on Calvert-Lewin. And uh, Kenny replaces a tie, Dinya. So 15 minutes left. We've gone, uh, we've gone more attacking now, people. We have gone more attacking. It's, uh, it's that time of the time. Can we grab a goal? Richarlison, nice little turn. Take this to the corner. And then feed that one back. And Babu delivers it in. Oh, Gomez with a interesting little flick. Would have been nice to see a bicycle kick, to be honest. I'd love to score a bicycle manual. Imagine if I scored a bicycle manual, folks. Oh, absolutely insane. Poor Calvert-Lewin. Terrible touch. That's one thing Calvert-Lewin lacks is his touch. His touch is atrocious. It's not the best. He's got a very big, long touch. Although they're all like that today, but I think that's purely down to the weather. The weather hasn't helped. David stayed up top. Oh, keep the pressure on. Oh, Newcastle living on the edge. Jolington. Wilson. Well done, Babu. Well played. Feeds it off, Barrios. All right, we've still got time. It's, it's still plenty of time here. We've just got to not panic and play football. Sebastian Villa. Okay, that's an interesting one too, but it's worked out. Players are queuing up in the box. Question is, how's the delivery? Well, we've gone all the way to the back post, and I guess we will take a throw out of it. Well, Sebastian Villa is done today. He's on uh, full red stamina, so Gordon will come into the mix, and he's not happy about it, but sorry. So Babu. Gomez flicks it back to Mbabu and that's not a good ball far too close to the goalie oh, this is going to be disappointing you know I can't be dropping points yeah we're away from home but just can't afford it can't count Lewin don't know what you're playing out there anyway Andre Gomez has given it to Gordon Gordon's got some space here and some time and he lays it back it's a chance for Gomez lucky Calvert-Lewin couldn't win the header. Cal uh, Callum Wilson brings it forward. Jolington, chance here for Newcastle. I mean, they kind of scored on the break with the first goal. And we've got another chance here. And that is very, very fortunate. That took a massive deflection. Gomez. David. Oh, the pass was on to Cal ah, Calvert-Lewin. Tar, get up. Misses the header. That's offside anyway final two minutes folks everyone get forward now we, we, we need it we need this goal Kenny towards Holgate well that's uh, brilliantly done um, Richarlison if he's offside he's pathetic but he's not offside has to deliver I don't know who on earth that's to I mean what a terrible cross absolutely horrendous now a chance for Hendrick we've got one minute of stoppage time left Newcastle I mean it's a valuable point for them They'll take it. If they can hold on here. And the referee does blow for full time. Not good. Not good. Uh, it was a tough game. You know, the snow came down. It didn't help. Luigi's scoring was a nice plus. But I, I do think defensively, we did lack uh, the likes of Mina. Even Keane back there. I mean, look at that. Eight attempts to five. Did, didn't create enough. A little bit off the boil. And... Man of the match, though, was Luigi, and uh, he really had the best of the bunch. Vila was poor today, Richarlison poor, David poor. Poor all around. So, the other results. Let's have a look. Uh, Aston Villa drew against Leeds, Bournemouth drew against Fulham. West Ham nil, Leicester 1, Brighton 2, Watford 4. Man United beat Liverpool. Man, Man United. What's going on with them? Newcastle, uh, sorry, Newcastle, got Newcastle on the brain. Norwich drew against Wolves. Still haven't scored, but they got a point. Tottenham lost to Southampton. Great result, but Man City beat Chelsea and Arsenal beating Crystal Palace. So we, we remain third, but United right now, I think United are going to go through a spell of losing games. I mean, how can they have scored 15 goals and only conceded one at the start of this season? That's mad. But yeah, we're third, Liverpool fourth, Arsenal fifth. 
bottom of the table, Norwich finally get the ball rolling. Okie dokie, folks. So let's head into this national team selection. Um, not really concerned about it. So, yeah, we'll just uh, confirm the, uh, the squad for whenever we play some friendlies. And then we've got the squad announcement. It's a great honor as uh, Alan has been uh, picked for his national side of Brazil. Well done, Alan. Hopefully, Alan's fit for this game. I need you back, Alan. You're the engine in my midfield. So, Derby Day Chapter 2, he's probably not going to be happy. Uh, this is our last match. Let's make sure we win it and don't give the press or public any reason to doubt our credentials. I'm aware of what's at stake. I mean, it's a rude, it's a rude reply from Luigi. There's the pressure. Uh, Everton shaky ahead of Derby, but Richarlison defiant. Yeah, he's buzzing. Ospina, I mean, Ospina's still got to grow. Still got to grow quite a bit. Uh, but let's have a look for today. Okay, Alan is on normal form. All right, so there's not too many players down. Lovely. Well, Luigi's down, of course. So Calvert-Lewin's going to have to start up top. All right, let me play around with the boys. Find the lineup and return. All right, let's go for this one. Uh, we're going to go 4-3-3. We're going to go 4-3-3. I actually completely forgot I had Kulisevsky because he was injured for the last week. So... He's going to start as a right winger. Uh, we're going we're gonna to rest Vila for this one. Richarlison on the left. Calvert-Lewin starts up top. We're going to go for James today with Allen and Barrios together. I think the last few matches, I've not been impressed with the middle. We're going to try these three together as much as David's up for this one a little bit. And obviously, we've got Andre Gomez. I don't know. I want to try these three together. Uh, then we're going to have Keane and Tar together at the back. Mina will start on the bench. Aaron's is going to start as well. I haven't really been playing him a whole lot. I mean, I've got to play these players to grow them. And we're going to start Nkonku on the left. He's on blue. You know, he's, uh, he's a young lad, 21 years of age. His speed's all right. And uh, I want to see what this guy can do. So we're going to give him a bash. And then Ospina starts again in goal. Because I want to rest up Olsen for the big matches coming up. So there's a look at Norwich. We're still not going to underestimate them. I mean, they've got a 64 rated left left back. You know, a 67 DMF, a 69 DMF. We, we should be dominating this game. But I'm not going to say too much. Because if I do, then we won't. But anyway, hope you guys do enjoy it. Final match of today's episode. Come on, lads. We, we, we need the goods. We need the three points, and we have to get them. So uh, let's try and do that. So here we go. Goodison Park once more. James Rodriguez back as captain, back in the lineup as the sirens are ready, and that normally means the boys are pumped for this one. All right, well, a little bit of a, a change in lineup. Luigi deciding not good enough against Newcastle United, so a really changed centre midfield. Calvert Lewin starts up top. His son's been uh, dropped today, but that's down to Luigi Jr. just not being 100% match fit. Because to be fair, the Italian had a decent game in the last match, scored a goal, so that's two in his last three matches. But if Everton don't win today, you've got a question. Uh, well, is, are they in a bit of a slump? As much as they beat Inter Milan three goals to one, they haven't won in the Premier League now for two matches. But we'll see how they fare. Here is Allen. They've missed his presence, that's for sure. Early chance for Barrios. Deflection and Calvert-Lewin did a little bit of a cheeky darts move there. A little bit of a nod the head move, but without actually heading the ball. But that's nice. There you go. Allen to Barrios. He'll get forward when he can. Not quite sure where that's heading. And uh, they have got a corner, though. So the chance. After just two minutes in towards Tar. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Tar hits the bar. Can't believe it. Norwich are vulnerable. We know this. They've only scored no goals this season. Not a single goal for them. I think it's going to be a case of which team is the team that Norwich are going to score against. Here is Allen. Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin, Kolosevsky, and uh, a bit of a half a chance there. It was a tough angle for him to try and strike that and find the back of the net, but Oxborough did well. Cleared away. Somehow Keane and Tarr have completely missed that one, and luckily Aarons has come across, and Ospin has done well, but oh, it's a bit of a mix-up there. That, that's one of those, isn't it? Pookie on, on red alert. I don't know what Keane was playing at. 
Aaron's comes across, it comes off Tar. It's that type of stuff that annoys me. Uh, and, I, and I hope they address. I know it, you can't always fix those little things with the AI, but smarter AI is all we need there. A little bit better programming for next uh, the next engine. Anyway, the ball's fired in. Keane has done just enough. Now that's been dispossessed, and now Everton have got players flooding forward. It is Hammers. Does find Calvert Lewin, who gets ahead of his man. Calvert Lewin may have to do it alone. Oh, he tried to lay it back. There was no point shooting from that kind of angle. And fortunately for Norwich, they've got away with it. I'll tell you what, it would be lovely to win this match today. Three or four nil. Just, just banging in the goals, getting a little bit more rhythm. Calvert Lewin, come on, Calvin. He got a play in Kulosevsky earlier there. But we know Pez is never as straightforward as you think. Wundia. Good play as he cuts inside. Chance to hit this one. And Ospina full stretch. Kulosevsky. Does find Allen. Now Konku. Barrios. Not a whole lot on, but we will find Aaron's. Kulosevsky again. The referee. Is that an elbow to the face, ref? Well, apparently not, and then he wasn't going to give that foul either. Ref, he just wants to play. Hamez. Hmm, interesting pass, and Konku's out of position now, so please get back in position. Oh, well done, Calvert-Lewin, that's better. Feeds it across, it's Hamez, and the goalie did enough. I don't know how good this goalie is. I think we need to start striking this from long range. That's better Calvert-Lewin there, getting involved. I know someone said he needs a new face. That is a new face. He needs another face. I thought that was a pretty good Calvert-Lewin face. Another chance for the corner. Delivered in. It's going to be Tar again to win it. It's off the line. Kulisevsky! I don't know what Norwich are playing at, but we don't care. Because the Swede slash... Whatever the other nationality is, what is he, Swedish and... Uh, I've forgotten it, I've forgotten it. Macedonian? Who cares, it's a goal, it's a goal, we'll take it. If you can cause the problems from corners, fantastic. But Norwich all over the place, all over the place. So Everton take probably a deserved lead. Oh dear, oh dear, shocking play again. Ball over the top, it's going to be a chance for Richarlison. Yeah, I tried placing that one. I really want to score with a play shot, but as you can tell, oh, we knew what, exactly what was going to happen there. We knew exactly what was going to happen. Lay it across. Riba. We need to put these away, lads, because Norwich are giving us gifts, you know, nicely wrapped with a bow on top, and we're not putting them away. And if we don't put them away, we know what will happen. Norwich will have one attempt and score. Can't drop points. Everton have got Liverpool coming up. Manchester City coming up. Inter. And a bunch more other teams. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, it's a better volley there. And we'll take it. Another corner. Another chance. A different technique this time. We are going for the drill to ball in. As we've gone towards that near post. Oh, it's a diving header. Here's uh, the old Taco Bell ring. Barrios. Nicely done, son. Nicely done. And this is James Rodriguez territory, a chance to make it number two. I mean, you can draw fouls with the AI. I mean, it's not difficult, but you just got to time it right. We always see that. Always the favorite, favorite animation in Pez. So James, 27 meters. I mean, look at the wall. It, it's tiny. It's a tiny wall. It honestly is the perfect chance just to nestle this into the top corner or the bottom corner. It doesn't matter. One or the other, but Hammers is back on the score sheet. I mean, what do you guys think about free kicks for the next iteration of Pez? See, I think FIFA's is too complicated. I think, you know, having these mini games for taking a free kick is annoying because you don't score half the time. Saying that, on Pez, it is too easy when you have a player who's like 80 plus or 83, 84 rated. I don't know if it's the goalie's positioning or what it is, but it's just far too easy. All right, Kulisevsky. Hamis. Allen. Calvert-Lewin. Kulisevsky again, finding uh, Nkonku. 
good idea to Richarlison, and he's just run straight into him there. I don't know how that's not a foul, but this referee today is not giving too many free kicks. Doesn't seem like he can be bothered. Calvert-Lewin, uh, not going to get there. Allen does get there. Here we go. Chance for the old bend. Ooh, unlucky. Uxbra has been uh, very, very busy in today's match. Seven minutes to play till half-time. Elsewhere, Everton will be hoping that Manchester United can drop points because, well, they've just been uh, phenomenal this season. My word, winning game after game after game as the referees brought this back for the, uh, the free kick on the Brazilian. Just too quick there against Vrancic. Oh, well, I'm having a go. I'm having a go, folks, because that's what you do when you're this far out. Oh, unlucky again. Have a corner. All day we'll have a corner. Was that heading in? Might hit the post. Right, we're going to try something different here. We're going to go six-yard box, pull all the players out, and then look for a volley on the edge of the box. And I want to see how this works out. And Konku! Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Imagine scoring that, it'd be an absolute dream. Cheeky way to try and score, but it, it, it's a tough volley there. Unlucky, mate, unlucky. Shocking face. As we are coming into the uh, the final two minutes of the half here. It is Puki looking to turn, and that's going to be all day for Mr. Ospina. Varios. Flicks it over. Kulisevsky. Has continued the run, and that's a fantastic looking ball. Is he going to get there? He is going to get there. Oh, referee. Come on. What a load of tripe. If you don't know what that means, Google it. How is that a foul? And then we score from it. Pathetic referee in there. Well, it should be 3-0, shouldn't it? Should be 3-0. I don't know if the goalie stopped playing there. Maybe he could have saved that one, but... Either way, I don't think it was a foul. Oh, that's a shocking place to give it away. Oh, Kulisevsky again. Uh, no, no, no. All right, we'll take that. Wasn't actually going to go to him, and the ball's all over the place now. So, that's going to be half-time, or is it? Chance for Richarlison. Still can't get the bend right on this. Still can't get the bend right, but at least we're creating stuff here. And that's half-time. Two goals to nil. It's going all right, not too shabby. And uh, another two goals in the second half would be uh, lovely. Right, Bendia looks it in. Altar has stayed on the floor. Referee, what's going on here? I mean, Tar's on the floor trying to pick himself up. Uh, referee plays on. I don't know if it's a foul or not. It looks like he got clattered by a Norwich player. And then the follow-up strike. Well, I don't know how far it is, but uh, Ospina looked worried. Aaron's swings it inside towards Tar. Allen. All right, Nkonku. Get forward and see what you can do. Side towards Barrios. Bezic. We haven't seen too much of Bezic. And I kind of want to give him a chance, but... We've got so many sort of midfielders, it's, it's hard to keep mixing and matching. There is Nkonku. Go on and Konku, take him on, lovely feet son, get the ball in the box, chance to deliver it towards Kulisevsky. Barrios wins the header, there's a chance here for Allen, oh, good save by the keeper, going to keep testing him, this is more like it, this is where you get that little flourish, Allen skips past the first challenge, couldn't beat the second, James, Barrios, lovely ball with Charleston, and he's offside. All right, well, it's another long way out, isn't it? But, yeah, you might as well hit it. I, I'm hoping one day one of these nestles into that top corner. We'll see. Have we got it? Not quite. Once again, the goalie. It's the goalie animations. They, 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 they just dive way too far. Way too far. Gibson. And this is generally why as well, I know a lot of people ask or, or, or mention in the comments, why don't you play like a diamond 4-4-2? This is kind of why I don't bother, because I am a player that likes to use the flanks. And if there's not enough players down there, it's not really worthwhile. That is a shocker, ref. Get the yellow cards out for that one. Another pathetic challenge. He's still not going to give me yellow. I, I don't believe this ref. He's atrocious. 
I mean, how do you, how do you not book him? Look at that. Two-footed. In fact, that could be a red card. So, uh, another change. We're going to take off Allen for this one. I think he's done enough today. Uh, certainly has helped out in the middle. And uh, Sebastian Vila comes on. Uh, we're just going to go for a 4-4-2 now. Play a little bit more wider uh, and shut up shop. So, Placetti comes on. Byram is off. That could be Norwich's last change of the game. Fed up the line towards Richarlison now. He's got no support. He's going to have to do this himself. Feeds it off to Villa. Lovely ball. Sebastian. Oh, referee. Now that's got to be at least a yellow, if not a red. What's he going to give here? It's a yellow card. Well, he's fortunate there. Because he completely missed the ball. Lovely little flick. But this could be number three. It's uh, Hamez territory once again. Well, we might as well do it. Might as well. We might as well do it, folks. It's going to be Hammers. If you can get it up and down, 25 metres. I'd love to get one in off the post. I mean, there's no better feeling. Here we go. It's going to be the Colombian. Oh, it nipped the top of the defender's head. Let me go for Tart. Let's, uh, let's go for a, a little flick on at the front post. Delivered in towards Tar. He does flick it on. Bezic is up. Back towards Barrios. And into the arms of the keeper. Barrios. Look at the strength of Barrios. He's a very physical player. He's very hard to get the ball off. And the referee's going to give the foul. We'll just take the quick one here, ref. Take the quick one, get things rolling. We are into the final few seconds. Barrios is... Come on, Barrios. Wake up, son. And uh, here's a chance. Do we bring out the goalie? Oh, we're going to concede a goal. I'm going to be absolutely disappointed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know what happened there, but Tar did enough. And Ospina just about came out quick enough. And there's your full-time whistle. So we'll take it. Two goals to nil. Job done in the first half, really. And, and Norwich looked poor, pathetic. And then that's why they're bottom of the table with no points. Oh, no, they have one point now, sorry. But still haven't scored a single goal. A little bit concerning for them. But there we have it. 17 attempts to four. I mean, we didn't have clear, clear-cut chances, but that, that really summed this game up. Man of the match was the Colombian, Hamez. All right, so let's have a look at the other results and hope Man United lost this time. Leeds beat Newcastle, Fulham losing to Aston Villa, Leicester beat Bournemouth 3-1, Brighton 1, West Ham 3. Oh, Manchester United do lose. Liverpool win 4-1, Tottenham beat United 4-2. That's a game. Man City beating Southampton, Chelsea beat Crystal Palace and Arsenal beating Watford so we remain third but we're now only two points behind United and yeah everything else is pretty much the same apart from Leicester and Chelsea and Tottenham all advance into the top eight Norwich City there they are still struggling still goalless so there we have it folks we will return in the Champions League match day four taking on Inter Milan yet again if we can beat the Italian side that's basically going to put us through into the knockout stage but away from home you'd expect a tough game anyway folks that is all for today hope you guys did enjoy it uh, we will return for uh, some more action hope you guys had a great Christmas and yeah hopefully 2021 is going to be a little bit better than uh, the quarantine's COVID 2020. Till next time, take care.